After years of rumors and leaks, smartphones with fingerprint scanners under the display are finally here. It is the next big thing in the smartphone market and it looks and feels futuristic. But apart from the looks, is the new in-display fingerprint scanner any good? And how does it compare to the common capacity fingerprint scanner? Let's find out. Human fingerprints are actually very unique and no two people will have the same fingerprint. Even identical twins will have slightly different fingerprints. So having a fingerprint lock to protect the personal information on your phone is a really good idea. Fingerprint scanners work by capturing the pattern of ridges and values on your finger. The information is then processed by the phone's pattern analysis and matching software, which then compares it to the list of already registered fingerprints on the phone. And if a successful match is found, your identity will be verified and access will be granted to unlock the phone. There are actually three different types of fingerprint scanners commonly used in phones. Let's look at them one by one. As the name suggests, the optical fingerprint scanner uses a light source, usually an LED, to illuminate the finger. The reflected light is then captured by a light sensitive microchip to create a digital image of your fingerprint. So basically, these scanners just make a photocopy of your finger. The major drawback is that it can easily be fooled with just a higher resolution photograph of your fingerprint. Also, it is bulky, so most modern smartphones don't use the optical sensor. It was first used in Pantec GI100, which was launched way back in 2004, but since then, it was slowly phased out. Synaptics recently introduced a new type of optical in-display fingerprint scanner at CES 2018. It is now being used in a bunch of Chinese smartphones like OnePlus 60, Vivo X21, and Huawei Mate 20 Pro, to name a few. It is much smaller, but works exactly like the normal optical sensor. The only difference is, the sensor is actually placed under the display and the display itself acts as the light source to eliminate the finger. This is why we see those cool light animations when the phone is unlocked. The main advantage of this fingerprint scanner is that it can be placed anywhere under the screen or if required, the whole screen can be used as a fingerprint scanner and also it works well even with wet fingers. Sounds futuristic, right? but it has a few major flaws though. It works only with OLED screens and doesn't work with LCDs. This is because LCD screens don't allow light to pass through them. But for the optical scanner to work, light has to actually pass through the screen and reach the fingerprint scanner placed below it. Another potential issue is that the scanner doesn't work well with screen protectors. So you might have trouble finding one that will work. Also, if the display is damaged, it would cost more to repair since the scanner is now integrated with the display. The capacity fingerprint scanners are the most commonly used fingerprint scanners in recent smartphones. These scanners take advantage of the fact that human skin is a good conductor of electricity. The scanner is actually made up of an array of capacitors. When we touch the scanner, the capacitors are charged, but this happens only at the ridges, while the capacitors below the values remain uncharged. This difference in capacitance between the ridges and valleys is then captured by the sensor to form the digital image of the fingerprint. The advantages of capacity fingerprint scanner or optical ones is that it cannot be easily fooled using just a photograph of the fingerprint. Also, it is faster and more accurate, but the capacity fingerprint scanner also has a few problems. It requires a clean finger to work properly as something like dust or sweat can affect the conductivity of the finger. Also, it is costlier and doesn't work when placed under the screen. It is also not completely foolproof and can be fooled by using a mold of a finger. The ultrasonic scanners are the newest entry in in-display fingerprint scanning technology. It uses ultrasound to scan and capture the 3D fingerprint data similar to how bats and dolphins use echolocation to find and identify objects. This generates a highly detailed 3D surface map of the fingerprint, which is extremely difficult to imitate or spoof. There is virtually no limitation to where the scanner can be placed inside a smartphone, as it can work even when placed under the glass screen, metal, or even plastic. It also works well with common contaminants like sweat, dust, and hand lotion to create a more accurate scan than capacity scanners. The ultrasonic scanner is currently only in prototype stage and is being tested by Qualcomm for use in mobile devices. Also, it is being rumored to be featured in the upcoming Samsung Galaxy S10 or the Note 10. But here's the thing, the under display fingerprint technology isn't quite there yet. It is not as consistent as a capacity scanner and is also considerably slower. But 
it is a relatively new technology and as more companies start to implement this tech, it will be perfected in the next couple of years or maybe sooner. So what do you think about under display fingerprint scanners? Are they the future or will they be replaced completely by something like a face ID? Let us know in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this.